Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, and here's what's coming up on today's vlog. So, and then just the other leg, and then so pull them both straight. And this is our girl from last night, number 57. And this is what we got vitamin E, a selenium injection. So this morning I'm out with Tom who works in an office job in the city. He took advantage of a, a lambing experience offer that I, I made on social media and we were straight into it. Here we go. The sheep should not be that easy to catch as well. We'll try and get her against the fence. Sheep to lamb this morning. This is a... Are you Meg? This is a blue faced Lester out of a... Oh, she's going to come right for us is she? Hey, hey. Oh, everything's a little harder with the GoPro. <laughs> so she's perfectly presented. So I would just grab one leg first and just and just give it a tug. Have you done this before? Nope. No, no. There we go. So and then just the other leg and then so pull them both straight. And that lamb's gonna come firing out there. Looks a big lamb. It is a big lamb. Good, eh? There you go. Some buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Rewarding work. There you now, go. now she's allegedly got two, the scanner man says. And there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's another one there. So we'll just, uh, it'll come, I'll bring this lamb round here. There's a lamb here for your mum. She should be quite kind, she's quite a blue faced Lester type, so. And you, that's all just normal. Yeah, so that's, the, the blood that's there is from the umbilical cord mm -hmm. that snaps, so it naturally breaks off. If I find it in there. Yeah, it'll be part, it's, it's part of this here, yeah. The, the, it naturally breaks off and, and retracts in there and leaves a wee bit of blood, but you know, there's no tearing or anything there. Yeah. I wouldn't have said, is there a wee, f mm, maybe a wee tear here. Yeah. But there's no, but you can see there's hardly any blood coming from that now, yeah. but that would be from the umbilical cord a bit. There is another one to get out. You better roll the sleeve up and find Absolutely, it. Yeah. Oh, we're straight in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Do you feel the lamb? Yeah. Do you feel the lamb right there, do you? Yeah. Right. Well, at least one leg. Ah, oh, good, good. Just one leg? She's, she's quite far on. Uh, we need two legs and, and you, you want to make sure the nose is coming. That way, lamb's head's up already. Yeah, both legs and the nose. Perfect. So you just want to work them through the pelvis. Try and get it all coming together. Pull the legs and the head should come if it's in a good position. Oh, yeah. No messing about here. And, then and is the nose cut? That's perfect. Sometimes the head can fall back. But if it's there. Oh, yeah. You've absolutely nailed this. You've absolutely nailed this. And then just, yep, yeah, take that off its nose. That's another danger with, with sheep lambing uh, multiples, so sometimes the second one can come out in a sack. Well, the first one can, yeah. to be fair as well and drown, but not usually with a big lamb like this, that would be very unusual. You see how the umbilical cord there, that will just, it just, as the lamb pulls away, just it just finds a natural breaking point and just snaps away. It's absolutely fine, but now I just want to make sure she's going to lick that. There you go. That's a... 9am. Good way to start the day. That's, that's a new profile picture for you there when I screen, <laughs> I screen grab that one. So we'll just wander away just now. Damn it, and we'll just... Up the bike, Meg. Up the bike. No stress for you, Mum. We'll come out your way. So we'll just walk away just so she's not stressed. And hopefully she'll just... I've kept her over on the side a wee bit so she's just... It's a bit more of a struggle to get up and it'll usually mean she'll lie for a bit longer licking them. Not bad. Good start to the day. <laughs> Two enormous lambs. Aye, aye, good. Yeah, yeah. That's a win. But in fact, I'm going to say it now because I can see the rest of the sheep here. We've had a perfect round. No deaths, considering how gutted I was last night. Um, done that, and Tom's got a lamb of sheep. Good, good start to the day. It can only get worse. I'm off now. Aye, that's it. it can only get worse. Feeding time at the zoo here, and this is our girl from last night, number fifty-seven. She's no appetite, but she was quite bright this morning. The snorter has snot coming out her nose. 
which is something I think. We've been feeding the lambs from the bottle, although that'll not be helping mum any. Still going, that's the main thing. Spoke to the vet, the university is shut because it's Easter Monday, so I have to go tomorrow with that sheep, so it's still in the back of my truck. Meg had a little go at it as well from where the birds had poked in and gave her a little route in, so she won't need any lunch. Hopefully there's some of it left for tomorrow. She deserves a little treat. All go, the girls have just been fed out here. Oh, and they've sung the gate shut. Little and often, just giving them a wee bite twice a day. Don't want the lambs getting any bigger, but I've got to keep the condition, you know, the ewes inside here. Need to try and keep the condition on them. Oh, girls. She's an old Jew with a big abs abscess in her jaw. I'd be surprised if she still has a lamb in her, but she was scanned a single. Miracles do happen. Big Hampshire Cross Dorset, I'm not sure what, Suffolk Dorset maybe, I'm not sure what this is, but she had a cracking big lamb. But you know, that's one of those sheep, a big sheep like that, having one lamb. Not much use. Mum just had her breakfast, now she's smashing back some water. A rub on we had earlier here. Adoption, ridiculous number of pet lambs. And now we had a lamb, a big strong lamb off its feet last night. It's still off its feet this morning, but we've been to the vets. Let me show you what we got. Vitamin E, same problem we had last year. We just had a day where we had three or four went off their feet last year and then we never had any more problem with it. And this is what we got, vitamin E, a selenium injection. And it seemed to do the trick last year. We've gave the lamb half a mil. Let's see if it gets it back on its feet. There is always a possibility that it's um, some sort of joint ill, perhaps in the spine or something, but hopefully it's just this. Right, Jock, spit it out. Come on. He's, he's put a rubber band in his mouth, which is obviously a choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he knows what he's doing. Like, look at your cheeky. Spit it out. Let me see. He's been eating the Crystal X, that's why he's got a brown nose. You've been eating Crystal X? Yes. Oh, how was that? Yes. Well done. So this mum is just literally, we've just come along and seen this mum sitting on this lamb. We sprayed her about five minutes ago. Oh, here it's coming now. Yeah, let's have a go. Got the resuscitator here. Yeah, this is the one that Jock and I caught in the field yesterday because she ran away and left her lambs. Brought her back, she had not much milk. So she tried to leave the lambs. We've been topping them up because she's not much milk and now she's killed one of them. Nature. Like, you know, she was leaving them because she knew she didn't have much milk. A wee bit, but not much. On the evening rounds tonight, sheep fans, and I'm going crazy. I'm going to leave the trailer. I feel this is a better evening than the previous evening, and we're not going to need it. Watch this space. <laughs> Deborah is uh, on the driving tonight. It's quite jerky, but we're just going. Oh, she's getting herself up. There we go, girl. Just need a little bit of motivation. Right, on you go, you. You help her. Oh, look, she's done it as well. They're just playing with you. Yeah. Help Absolute tease. And there is Tom's handiwork from earlier. Great mum, cracking pair of lambs there. What a difference a day makes. A, a clear round this evening. No dramas. We had a few lambs to match up, but no dramas, no stress. A couple that pretended they were tipped on their back, but they were absolutely fine. Great to have Tom out today. He absolutely loved it. And I'm sure he's got a few stories to tell the boys back in the office. We're ending on the positive. That's us for this one, sheep fans. Thanks for all your comments in the videos. I do read them all, even if I can't reply to them. I really appreciate it. And remember, check out that merch store. It pays my bills. Cheers. That's was heute von dem Video. Und wir sehen euch beim nächsten Mal.